Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our list of full tutorial series on Angular Material. And in the previous episode, we learned about Angular Material List. Today, we are going to take one step further and we are going to learn to use Angular Mat Grid List. What is a grid? A grid is a box model, so you can arrange multiple items adjacently to each other. So that way you can design your grid using the list. We'll learn how to do that now. Let's get started. Before we jump into practical friends, I request you to please kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. If you have any technical doubts or queries, please drop them in the comment section. I will be happy to help you for free. All right, let's get started. So we have our application running. In the previous episode, we learned how to make a mat navigation list and mat list. We will now learn how to create a grid list. So let's see first where we are with our application. So this is how our application looks. We used mat list to customize and present our badges that we used. And then we have created a navigation list here. Now let's go ahead and add our grid list. So let's create one more mat card. And to style it up, I'll give the same style that we have been using so we know that it's familiar to you. All right, so now that I have given the class name, and we are good to use our mat grid list. So we'll say mat grid list. Now, I forgot to include one thing. To, to have your grid list use, we need to import the module first in our app module. And that we have done as part of our generic module, which we created where we have imported all the modules. So you can see here, we have imported all the modules and then imported this module into our app module. This is important. You can directly also import, but for easy sake, we have included the all the modules in one go. Now let's go ahead and create our grid list. So first thing we need to tell is what do we want to, how many columns or how many rows we want. So I'm going to say that I want three column grid. So we specify columns equal to three. And then we will define our grids based on the number. So it's with three into two, we'll have six. So let's go ahead and add that tile. Let's call this red. Each color you can give blue, yellow, All right, so we have created seven, I think. So we will get it one. We have now six colors. Let's see the output. So now you see we have created a grid which is coming each of it. Now we can customize our row height and tell them that I want each row to be height of 22 is to one, let's say. One is to one. So I'm telling, oh, it's spilling. Okay. So we are telling one is to one. So now you will see exactly they'll be same in the same row, like red, blue, yellow, and then followed by teal, pink, and orange. We can add colors to it. We can add CSS and make it more jazzy, but that's for your homework. Do give it a try and let me know if you have any queries or doubts, I'll be happy to help you for free. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to use tabs. We'll learn how to use dividers, how to use expansion panels. Stay tuned. There's a lot more to come. Thank you so much for joining.